So before I continue waffling any further in this JDXI tutorial series, I just wanted to put your mind at ease uh, how interesting it's actually going to be. So uh, people that have listened to my music, you know, they say, oh, you know, you influenced a lot by the Prodigy and the Chemical Brothers. Well, you know, I am a bit of a Prodigy fanboy, but hey ho, you know, there's worse bands out there that you could uh, that you could enjoy listening to. So I just wanted to give you a little demonstration of what this bad boy is capable of. So you might recognize this. This is the Prodigy's Omen, and let's see if we can fire this through. Uh, this actually was done in about 45, half an hour, 45 minutes. So uh, have a listen to this. Okay, so in this quick tutorial, we're going to download the JDXI Manager, which is basically a patch editor or a software interface for the uh, synthesizer. So if you go to your favorite browser and your favorite search engine and just type in JDXI Manager, which I've already done several times, um, hopefully the top result should be the JDXI-manager.linuxtech.net, um, but I'll put a link in the description of this video. And then this is obviously free for personal use and the kind uh, people that made it. Obviously, you'll note there's a donate button there if you want to go ahead and show your appreciation. I'm sure they deserve every penny they can get. So to download the manager, just go to download. And then we want the Windows version. So just hit that. All it does is download an executable file. And then you can put this executable file wherever you want on your desktop, wherever you save your audio software. Um, it's up to you. So if we open that up, uh, I've actually uh, got my JDXI plugged into the USB port on the computer and powered up. So we're just going to select the output device as the JDXI, the input device as the JDXI, and we should be good to go. If you hit test, you should get that tone. If the MIDI or the audio gets tied in knots when you're using the editor, just hit panic and then away we go. So obviously the four parts that you've got here on the patch editor resemble the four parts you've got on your JDXI uh, synthesizer. So if we just have a quick look at digital synth number one, which is the same as having a look at digital synth number two also, uh, you can see that we've got all the common, uh, well, basically all the settings and parameters that you would have access to if you were to dive into the menu. So this makes it a lot easier to edit patches. So we'll go, be going through these in more detail because you know, we probably need a video to discuss the digital synth and we need a video definitely to look at the drums because the, the drums are very versatile on this synthesizer. But as you can see here, uh, you've got all the common uh, settings um, to edit your patches. Uh, the only thing you got to remember to do, and I'll quickly show you this, is to, if you read from the JDXI, now what you're seeing on the patch editor here is now the actual... <laughs> Uh, patch that you've got on the JDXI. So if we switch some of the partials off, you can see that that now changes. And then just remember, if you're editing this, and we will go through it in more detail, is just to dump to the JDXI uh, once you're done. And I think you can also, you know, save your patches uh, locally on your computer. So if we just uh, exit out of there, no, we don't want to save our changes. And then let's just have a look at the drum part. So the really good thing about the JDXI is you've got pretty much every Roland drum machine uh, sound on here that you can think of. This is an 808 and a 909 kit combined. And then obviously, commonly on most keyboards, you've got the percussion um, parts or the acronyms for the percussion parts like bass drum clap, uh, open hi-hat, etc., etc. And then also on here, you've got the bass drum uh, and percussion parts reflected on the patch. 
So what we can do with the drums is for each key on the keyboard, we can assign not only one single percussion sound, but a multitude of percussion sounds. So let me just move this up so you can see. Again, if we read from the JDXI, what we've got in the synthesizer is now reflected on the patch editor. So example for bass drum number one, which is on bass drum number one, is the 808 kick. If we wanted to quickly change that, we could have a synth kick. There we go. And then if we wanted to have it in stereo and have a different sound on the right, because at the moment it's in uh, left, is coming equally out of both channels. So it's uh, mono. And then the right would be a ride uh, symbol. Not only that, we can have up to four um, waves um, with different sounds in the left and right. So if I go to wave number two, set this as, let's have a look, a snare on the left. And then uh, let's go for a bit of a sound effect. What have we got? Let's have a scratch there. And obviously we just need to put the wave on for wave number two and we should get a multitude of sounds literally just on that one hit so you can see how versatile this can be and let's just exit out of there and then for the analog synthesizer you've got all the what you're commonly used to seeing the parameters on a synthesizer to edit the the analog synthesizer so let's just close that down now so now that we've downloaded the software and we've had a quick look at what you can do with the patch editor uh, if you subscribe you'll stay posted but please join me in the future for the videos where we look through in detail on each one of these parts thank you for watching and i'll see you next time